Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for November 23. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and in the next ones I'll cover paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Quick reminder, tons of Black Friday sales are still ongoing. If you need anything, definitely check it out. I've already mentioned the things that I really recommend, like Text Animator, this is excellent, ASAR Pathfinding Project, this is perfect and feel also awesome. I've heard great things about Final IK, the Legs Animator, Easy Save, and Hot Reload, so pretty much everything here is excellent. Remember to check out the page with all the flash deals, over here you can see the timer for when they're actually going to be live. By the time this video goes live, it's going to be these ones. You've got some Dots Animation, a realistic car controller, a really nice FPS controller, some magic and so on, and there's also some Sinti Assets. Although if you're specifically looking for Sinti Assets, they also got a Black Friday sale in their store. Bunch of stuff at 70% off, and all of the usual gorgeous ones, these are all at 50% off. Like the Fantasy Kingdom, this is the one that was shown in the Unite Keynote. If you'd like to try to build something that is just as good looking as that, then maybe pick this up and try it out. And over on Humble Bundle, there's a bundle with a ton of Blender modeling 3D courses. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I went through and really taught me the basics of Blender. I managed to learn quite a lot. Grant is a great teacher. So if you need anything, now's the best time to get it, so check out all the sales with the links in the description. Alright, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with an official new Unity asset called QuizU. This is a fully working quiz minigame, and importantly, this is all made with UI Toolkit. Now if you don't know, UI Toolkit is the new UI system that Unity has been working on for quite some time. I've done a bunch of research on it, but I haven't yet had the time to make a full tutorial on it just yet. It's very interesting compared to the regular Unity UI. It has some nice pros in terms of separating data from the visuals. This asset looks like like an excellent learning sample if you want to start learning UI Toolkit. It is meant to teach you various things like event dispatch and propagation, state pattern for game flow, managing menus and the model view presenter pattern. Personally, I will certainly be diving deep into this sample once I find the time to research some UI Toolkit. Then if you've been playing Super Mario Wonder and you're inspired to build something like it, then here's a pack with some visuals that could be taken straight from that game. It's got some very nice soft colors, some nice round edges, everything looks really inviting. It includes a bunch of modular pieces for for some grass, some path, you've got trees, houses, air blocks, and a bunch more. So just with this one pack, you could build an entire Mario-inspired game with lots of unique levels and biomes. Next, here's an interesting tool that adds a bunch of useful context actions. As you mouse over a folder, you can see a tiny icon that lets you create a subfolder, and you can automatically give it some preset names. You can also automatically create a script from various templates, so automatically write the baller plate for an interface, a struct, a num code, or a bunch more. You can create and set up shaders with just one click and a bunch more options. This is a tiny tool, but when working on a large project, these tiny actions do end up taking quite a decent chunk of time, so this can be quite useful. Then if you're looking for some trails visuals, here's a free pack with some really nice variety. These all look really good, very nice and wiggly. It's honestly really high quality for a free pack. These are all made with the VFX graph, so they are super high quality. It includes 10 unique trails, so things like fire, ice, there's one for cosmos, void, water, and a bunch more. And this pack also includes sound effects. It's really nice. Next, if you'd like to prototype a city builder game, then check out this pack. You've got six really nice buildings, all in a low poly style, but still with a nice amount of detail. There's a fire station, hospital, workshop, and a bunch more. Visually, I think they all look really great. So basically, if you grab this pack and then you grab my free grade building system, if you put those two together, you can make a really nice city builder prototype in just a few minutes. Then if you combine that with a free character pack for some pedestrians and a free car pack for some vehicles, put all that together and you have everything needed to make a really nice city Builder all completely for free. Then here's an interesting tool for running TypeScript alongside your C -sharp code. Personally, I'm not a JavaScript expert, I only know the absolute basics. The main benefit of something like TypeScript versus vanilla JavaScript is obviously using types. Again, for me, as someone who does most of my programming in C, -sharp, every time I write some JavaScript, it drives me crazy how there's no types. So I'm definitely a fan of TypeScript, at least the concept behind it. This is apparently especially great if you're making WebGL games or apps. And of course, since it's JavaScript, that means you have access to NPM to download the millions of JavaScript libraries that do really anything you can think of. Next, for some visuals, here's one that looks really great. These screenshots look really nice, both because of the assets and also the lighting and post-processing that they use. It looks really calm, really inviting. Looking at this one, I would say this is obviously perfect for some kind of Sims game. You could combine this with my grid system and get something really nice. Just pick up a free character pack, add some interactions, and you have a really nice Sims game. Then, for a potentially very useful tool, here we have value 
Observer. Like the name implies, this one lets you observe when a value changes, so you can use this custom class with whatever other type you want. Then when you modify the underlying value, you can get notified that something changed. This is something that I do all the time in my own code. I modify my variables through functions instead of direct access. I do that specifically so I can fire events if needed. And this tool basically does all of that without having to write a ton of code for yourself. You just use this class and everything works. It's a really nice and simple way to save you a little bit of time, or perhaps as a research tool just to see how something very useful like this can be built. Then here's another interesting tool. This one is for copying scriptable objects data. This is definitely something that I've needed to do in the past, and it was indeed very annoying to have to copy paste one by one. This simple tool helps solve that. You can copy some scriptable object data and then select another or multiple other objects and simply paste that data. Importantly, it has a nice window where you can pick what data you want to paste, so you don't have to overwrite all the fields, only the ones that you want. It's a simple tool, and if you use scriptable objects a lot like you should do, then this can really come in handy sometimes. Then if you need some nice free weapons, check out this pack. I quite like this style. It's low poly, but with some nice rounded edges. The colors are solid, meaning you can very easily recolor all the weapons to get tons of variation. You've got multiple weapons, both for shooting and for melee. So if you need some weapons, then this would be a great starting point. All right, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity App Store for November 23. There's a link to on the description and also check out my own free and on store. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.